Hi, all my lovely and beautiful Libra Collective. I hope you all are doing well. Um, like I was telling my other signs, I've been MIA on my YouTube. Yes, I have, and I'm, you know, I'm guilty of that. But um, it's been more convenient for me to post on my TikTok page because it's just like one shot, you record it, and then you just, you know, release it on TikTok. You send it out on TikTok. But with YouTube, I have to do a little bit more editing. The upload time takes a little bit longer. So that's why I've been leaning more towards TikTok at this time. Um, and I do feel like there's more engagement on TikTok. A lot of more people are commenting and wanting, um, you know, being receptive to my videos. So I would appreciate that moving forward. If you do enjoy the content, please like, please subscribe, please show your girl some love. I would appreciate it, guys, because I do it all for you. And it's not for me, for my own self gain. It's for you guys to gain some clarity in some of your love situations. So please always use your own um, discernment in these love readings. Whatever resonates, resonates. If it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. No need to get offended, okay? So I'm going to be going, starting off with the Lover Oracle cards. I just got these yesterday, so I'm trying this out on YouTube. Check out my TikTok. I posted a lot of Libra videos. Um, so let's go. So what is currently going on for Libras in their current romantic love situations? What is currently going on for Libras in their current romantic love situations at this time? What is currently going on for my Libra collective in regards to their current romantic love situations at this time? Ooh, a proposal here. Okay. What is currently going on for Libras in their current romantic love situations at this time? What is currently going on for Libras in their current romantic love situations at this time? Libras, current romantic love situations at this time. What's going on? Okay. So we have a proposal was the first card that came out. So somebody may want to propose to someone here, okay? A love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true, okay? So some of you, this could be happening. Or for some of you, I'm also feeling if you're in a period of separation with this person where there's a runner chaser dynamic for some of you guys, this person wants to reconcile and they want to make amends. They want to restore union, maybe restore love vows, like a vow renewal for some of you guys with this proposal card and then we have between the lines hidden meanings vague speculate implicit okay so maybe somebody is always making you feel like you need to read between the lines and not being very direct with their communication and there may be hidden meanings to what they're saying they're being very vague as causing a lot of uncertainties in this love situation we have toxic relationship Fighting, codependent, misunderstanding, trigger. Okay, so if you look in this image, there's physical abuse here. And I said that on my TikTok. Some of you are in a very abusive relationship. It's very toxic. Some of you realize it as toxic and you're fearful of leaving this person because of mind control and just the fear of them hurting you, okay? So, um... You know, I feel like there's people here that are making the right decision to either remove themselves or to um, seek help at this time and try to seek the right opportunities and place to make sure that you're safe. Okay, because there's always a way and some people feel like they are stuck, but there's always a way. If you find it, if you look for it, there's a way. You just have to re research, do your, your work, and you will find a way. If you're dealing with a really toxic situation where there's physical violence, verbal abuse, a lot of manipulation, a lot of mind games, a lot of third parties, then be mindful of your toxicities and realize this is not healthy. Okay, some of you may think it's healthy because of childhood trauma. Or you were raised around people that are constantly fighting and you think that's the norm, but it's not the, the norm, okay? Love isn't, love isn't supposed to hurt. Okay, so if you're dealing with that, love is not supposed to hurt and you need to be reminded of that today. Okay, I'm not going to go into a long story about that. Um, how is this person feeling about Libra and their current love situation at this time? How are they feeling about Libra and their current romantic love situations at this time? How are they feeling about Libras and their current romantic love situations at this time? How are they feeling about Libras and their current romantic love situations at this time? How are they feeling about Libras and their current romantic love situations at this time? How are they feeling towards Libra and their current love situation at this time? Okay, so use your own discernment. Take it if it resonates. If it does resonate, then it is what it is. This is how they feel. And everybody's perspective is different, okay? So it says that they this person may feel like you're closed-minded. 
uh, willing to consider other perspectives or entertain new ideas, be more open. And a lot of people are pulling this card, okay? So if you feel like you're closed-minded or you're only open to the way you're thinking, your logic, maybe you could think about how they're feeling as well, see a new perspective, if it makes sense, if it makes sense. But if you feel like this is a lot of mind manipulation that this person likes to do, then, you know, stick with your intuition, your gut feeling about the situation, okay? But they feel like you're closed-minded about something. And then slower pace. Appreciate the journey rather than just rushing towards the destiny. So some of you may have rushed into your love situations. Maybe it was a quick, impulsive, um, romantic, passionate love affair that you guys had with one another. And it led into something that was a little bit more stable, possibly, for some of you. Um, it started off very quick. Uh, so they want you to take things a little bit more slow, okay? Be more slower paced. Appreciate the journey rather than just rushing towards the destination. So some of you are quick to move towards the next level in your relationship, but slow it down. Calm yourself. Cool it. Let things unfold naturally. If you've been waiting for this person for a long time, use your own discernment. If you don't want to continue waiting for this long, then you have to say that, okay, I don't want to deal with this anymore, okay? They feel like you're stubborn. It can denote determination and perseverance, but it also hinders hinders progress okay it can denote determination and perseverance but it also may hinder progress so they feel like you're stubborn you're bullheaded maybe some of you have tourist placements or are tourists and they feel or just earth placements and they feel like you're stubborn okay um that you're inflexible you're rigid um in certain ways of thinking that you're not open to seeing like you're closed-minded that works hand in hand with the stubborn card that you're closed-minded, you only see things within your lens and you're not looking at other people's lens on how they may be feeling and that you're not open to certain things, that you're being very stubborn at this time, okay? So that's the message on how they're feeling towards you, my beautiful Libras and handsome Libras. Uh, what's currently going on for Libras in their current romantic love situations? A Knight of Cups, a romantic endeavor here. Somebody wants to make a romantic gesture here. For Libra, what's going on for Libra in their current romance glass situations? What is going on for Libra in their current romance glass situations? Yeah, somebody wants to make a romantic gesture towards somebody. This King of Cups could be dealing with a water sign for some of you Libras. They want to restore peace and balance here. They're waiting for somebody in this last situation. Yeah, they're waiting for somebody to take action and they're upset that somebody is not really um, moving at this time. They're kind of like close. They could be this one who's closed minded. They're just focusing on themselves. They're sitting pretty. They're just focusing on their own growth and stability at this time. Maybe dealing with their own financial issues and stuff like that. Not really focusing on love. And there's somebody who wants to make a romantic gesture towards someone here. This sign of swords wants to come in and take action towards a reconciliation with you. Okay, because they want control, they want victory in this last situation due to pride and ego for some of them. It's all just about attention that they're looking for. They want your attention here. They're angry that you're, if you withdrew your energy from this person, they're angry that you're not showing them attention at this time. They want to reconcile here. What is this Knight of Cups going to do towards Libra in their love situations? What is this Knight of Cups going to do towards Libras in their current love situations? They want to make a kind gesture. Um, they're nostalgic about the past. They're hurting from the past about some kind of heartbreak and they're keeping it to themselves at this time, but they would like to still be friendly with you. A lot of water energy and earth energy. Um, so they still want to be friendly with you. They still want to be on good terms with you, but they feel the need to protect them, their hearts at this time, but they still want to be like romantic and, um, they have romantic feelings towards you at this time. They're trying to gain a new perspective about this love situation between you two. Um, why is the King of Cups here for Libras in their current love situation? Okay. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. Yeah. They're thinking of working on, um, this opportunity with you. It could be, yeah, we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So your counterpart, they're, this King of Cups has a lot of love for you. And they're looking to work towards growth and stability with you. They're thinking of it. They're daydreaming about it. They would like to heal this connection. Like I said, there's a lot of strong reconciliation energy. They want to work on having a new beginning with you. They know it may take some time. But they see you as their wish. 
okay? Even if they're not expressing it to you with this hermit energy or they want ghost, they see you as their wish here. They want a new beginning, a passionate new beginning with you as well. Why is temperance here for Libras in their current romantic love situation? Why is, sorry, why is temperance here for Libras in their current romantic love situations? I talk very fast. Okay, so there's a lot of, um, somebody needs to temper some of their um, toxic ways here. Because they're flighty, they don't really know what they want. Um, they need to be really focused on what they want moving forward. They feel like there's a toxic codependency here that needs to be worked on. And somebody's very highly indecisive. A lot of earth energy here. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign or have strong work, earth placements, either you or them. Why is the king of pentacles here for Libras in the current love situation? Yeah, this king of pentacles is stuck on his chair or her chair. They're not moving. They're not budging at this time. They may be closed-minded. They're closed off. They're stuck here. They're not making a decision or they made a final decision. And there's somebody here that wants this king of pentacles here. And they're having anxiety about making peace and moving towards them. Some of you may be trying to travel towards this person. Okay, could be more than one energy here. But this king of wands, what does this king of wands want? I feel like this king of wands wants to emotionally manipulate. <laughs> they want to make you, like, leave you guessing. We, yeah, I definitely see this the, between the lines. They, they're hidden meanings, vague, speculate, implicit. They want you to speculate, be worried, over analysis, paralysis. They know that's your weakness, that you overthink things. So they want you to stay stuck in this love situation. They want you to overthink everything. Like, should I go? Should I leave? Should I go? Should I leave? Am I doing the right thing? And this is causing you great restlessness and anxiety, okay? This person wants this for you. They want you to stay stuck and overthink the situation and be anxious and overwhelmed about what's going to happen next, okay? So this person doesn't really have nice intent. I don't like that, okay? Some of you are trying to make peace and move, you know, towards calmer waters now, trying to avoid this person, but I just feel like this is a run and chase with dynamic for some of you guys, especially with toxic relationships. That tends to be the case until you finally say enough is enough. Some of you are saying enough is enough, but some of you really need to say enough is enough. How is this person feeling towards Libra and love at this time? How are they feeling towards Libra and love at this time? How is this person on Libra's mind feeling towards them in love at this time? How are they feeling towards Libra and love at this time? How are they feeling towards Libra and love at this time? They see you as a wish fulfillment. They definitely desire you strongly here. Um, but they're emotionally manipulative here. They play a lot of love games. Sometimes they act like they're very sweet. They make these kind gestures towards you, which makes you feel like they changed. But they're really still the same person. Uh, but they see you as a wish fulfillment. Um, they could have more than one person that they're involved with. But they see you as one of their wish fulfillments with this Nine of Cups energy. Um, they feel like you become kind of cold in this love situation towards them. You kind of turn your back on them. And they want you to, they feel like you become inactive as well. Um, but they feel like you need to heal from the situation. You need to heal and you need to like meditate on what you need to do moving forward. Is what I'm getting with this Queen of Swords to the Four of, of Swords. Yeah, because they like to keep you stuck. They want you to stay, like, inactive. They don't want you to act on anyone, I feel. They don't want you to pursue other love interests if you disconnected from them. Because they see you as this queen of wands, whether you're a female or a male, king or queen of wands. They see you as this. They want to manipulate you to feel like you're unworthy of new love opportunities. Some of you are seeking romantic love at this time. There could be new love coming in. Um, but, yeah, they want to make peace with you. Uh, they don't want you to make a decision about this love matter at this time. They want you to rest on a decision that you may have made. Um, they still want to still have some kind of manipulation over you. Okay. They want to like keep you mentally stuck is what I'm getting. Okay. So that's for Libra. I post a lot of Libra readings on TikTok. So <laughs> you guys have a love saga here. A soap opera for Libras. You guys are like the most dramatic ones for my zodiac signs i'm sorry to say but you are <laughs> no offense um what is it that this person wants to say to libra in their current love situation what is it that they want to see to say to libras in their current love, romantic love situations at this time what is it that they want to see to libras in their current romantic love situations at this time 
What is it that they want to say to Libras in their current romantic love situations at this time? And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your support. And I also will appreciate a like on this video because I did it for you guys. And you can also comment Libra down below or something resonated as well. I was hiding my true feelings from you because I was scared of commitments and I didn't want to lose my freedom. I was hiding my true feelings from you because I was, a, I was scared of commitment and didn't want to lose my freedom. I ghosted you because it was getting too intense. I don't let people in my life easily because I have trust issues. So this person has trust and commitment issues. I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. Okay, guys, so take whatever resonates. It doesn't resonate for you. It resonates for someone, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you would like to see more Libra readings moving forward, you have to comment, engage. Okay, guys, much love. See you guys soon. Bye.